one of the things that always comes up is hand position, which is correct hand position, which is incorrect hand position. Uh, there's no such thing as incorrect hand position. Again, it's going to depend on what you're trying to do. Uh, on the drum set, you rarely have to play pianissimo. You know, you really have to play softly. Uh, I can't think of any instance where you have to play extended soft rolls or, you know, an even, even roll. Uh, where you're playing, you know, concert situation or show situation, you will have to have a much wider range of dynamics. Okay? So the hand position that, that this is the most controlled. Where you're going to be lifting up the stick, right? You're controlling the, your fingers this way. You're controlling your fingers this way, okay? Uh, but the, by the same token, if I were playing, say, a multiple percussion setup, where I have two snare drums, tempo blocks, three cymbals, a couple of tom-toms, you know, a multiple uh, contemporary sort of setup, then I, might, I probably would not play traditional grip. For the simple reason, this is not terribly convenient to move horizontally. Although Dave Weckl plays like this, and he could move pretty well, <laughs> you know, pretty fast and very, very well, you know. But I've never seen any other players that use traditional grip when they move around the drum set, or even contemporary, you know, uh, percussion music. Uh, so if I were playing, you know, contemporary percussion music, for one thing, my t tempo blocks in my setup don't bounce. So right off the bat, this is not going to work. It's a much more lifted up and down position because I have to lift the stick up on a, an object that doesn't bounce. Right? Same thing with mallet instruments. If you're playing marimba, xylophone, there's very little rebound on that instrument. So it's more a lifted stroke. Okay?